welcome back to another video. Ignore the clothes, I'm in the middle of cleaning. But I wanted to go ahead and start today's video. It's gonna be all about pumping, all about my schedule, how much I make, all that good stuff. I wanted to start it now. I originally wanted to start it at my first pump of the day, which is at six, but mm -mm, no. I can barely get myself up enough to pump, let alone get the camera and actually film. I've already pumped at six. It's 8.13 right now, so I got up, got myself ready. I've washed bottles, coals, eight, all that good stuff. I set an alarm in the morning for six. He doesn't wake up till 6.30 most days. The past two days he's woke up at like 4.35. I'm wondering if he's hitting his four month sleep regression a little early, but most of the time he wakes up at 6.30, so I wake up to pump at six. And in the morning, since I don't wake up in the middle of the night to pump anymore, I pump for 45 minutes. So wake up at six, pump for 45 minutes. What I do with that is the first like 11 minutes, I fill up both of my pumps. So what I do is I use that milk from the first 11 minutes and I make Cole's seven o'clock bottle. And then I continue pumping. I pump for another 35-ish minutes and I use that to make his 10 o'clock bottle because then it still falls in between the four hours until it's good because he eats again at 10. And then whatever I have left, I just put in a bottle to let it get chilled in the fridge because obviously I'm not gonna use it within four hours because I've already made the bottle that he's gonna eat within that time period. I don't pump again until 10.30. What works best for me is I pump, except for my first and my last pump of the day, I always pump 30 minutes after Cole eats. That just works really good with my schedule, works really good with his schedule because usually during that time while I'm pumping, I sit down on the floor and I play with him because he's still awake. And that way I'm done pumping by the time he gets sleepy again and I have to put him to, down for his nap. I'm currently pumping six times a day. I'm about to go probably in the next week or two down to five before I have to go back to work. But for right now, I'm doing six. I'm gonna continue cleaning and I will see you at my 10.30 pump. Okay, so I just got done with my 10.30 pump. It ended up being a little later than 10.30 because me and Cole both fell asleep and I did not wake up to feed him until like 10.15. By the time I fed him, burped him, changed him, it was like 10.45 before. I look very orange, but by the time I fed him, burped him, changed him, got him settled, it was like 10.45ish before I started, but I'm not strict on the exact time, just around the time. Sometimes I pump a little bit early if that's more convenient. Sometimes I pump a little later. It just depends. But this, this is what I got. And I like to preface, this isn't normal for most people to produce as much. So if you don't produce as much, don't get discouraged. I'm an overproducer. I got if it'll focus this much and I have this this pump is called the Amita Maya and I'll show you that in a minute and I'll talk about the pumps I have but the the measurements on this don't match up with my Dr. Brown bottles that he eats out of so I don't go off these measurements it's about a fourth of an ounce off in each of these containers but this is what I got what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what I do and it's called the pitcher method so I always have my pitcher and this bottle. This bottle is like the in-between bottle. I'll put whatever I freshly pump into this and get it to be cold and then I pour into this. So this is from leftovers from my first morning pump. So I'm gonna pour this in there and then I'm gonna see how much I got because I'm gonna pour what I got just now into here. All right, so I got, out of what I just pumped, I've got five ounces ready for his next bottle that he'll eat around one-ish, because like I explained before, that'll fall within the four hours because I pumped it at like 2.45. So one is within the four hours. And then this is what I had extra, another five ounces. So I got 10 total, which actually is a pretty, I never usually pump that much in the morning or any other time other than my first morning pump, but, but that's because I've went all night without pumping and I pump first thing in the morning and I'll pump anywhere between like 16 to 19 ounces in the morning. So that's a pretty big pump. So something I ate, I guess. Maybe, oh, I bet it's, no, I don't know. Maybe it's the cereal I ate this morning and I had Fruit Loops. 
Maybe it's the coffee, I don't know, but I did pump a lot. And like I said, I just poured whatever was already cold into here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the pitcher back so it stays cold and that extra that I had back in the fridge. And I am going to put these into the fridge. So there is a hack. Some people like this hack, some people don't. So I'll put these in the fridge once. Between pumps, so like these are brand new pumps that were cleaned right before I used them. So I'm gonna put them in the fridge and use them one more time. I don't go more than that because I do feel like after that it might be a little iffy, but I will put these in there for now and use them again. That way I'm just not constantly washing pumps and having to wait for them to dry to use them again. So I'm gonna do that. Ready for our 130 pump. It is already time to pump again. Somebody decided that they didn't want to take a nap in between their last bottle. So I'm ex fully expecting this one to go to sleep while I'm pumping, hopefully without any issues. So there's two different ways that I typically try to pump with him because obviously you can't just drop everything and pump. You have to think about the best way for you to be accessible to your baby if they need you as well because obviously when you have all this pump stuff, all the tubes and stuff, you can't really hold your baby. So he's smiling at me. So I do two things. Typically this is during, I uh, pump during playtime. And normally I'll sit him in his swing or I'll sit him in his seat or I'll lay him on his play mat or he'll do tummy time and we'll play for the 30 minutes that I pump. He's still grinning at me. And now he's distracted. But if there are rare occasions, well, not super rare, but occasions where I have to pump when he's sleepy, like if I am going somewhere and I need to pump a little early so that I don't have to pump while I'm at the place, I'll try to lay him next to me or put him in his swing if I think he's going to fall asleep in a swing but it's a lot for him he likes to lay and stretch out so when he sleeps so I have him every time I turn the camera on he stops but I have him laying next to me that way if I need to give him a passy or if I need to pat him or if he spits up a little bit for whatever reason I can easily help him do that and I don't feel like I have to pick him up to help him with anything also I always try and change him right before I pump as well that way that's not an issue that we run into that's not one of the reasons he could be crying and we just chill for the 30 minutes so far I've pumped 27.75 ounces and he eats 25 ounces a day give or take an ounce or two if he's like extra hungry so I've already pumped what he eats a day so technically I could take all that and bottle it in the fridge and just have the bottles ready some people give their babies milk from the fridge I just like to give them fresh that's easier for me it's also easier if we're going somewhere because fresh milk is good out at room temperature for four hours whereas if you're to take out a bottle from the fridge it's only good for two hours after it becomes room temperature he'll take a bottle cold but most babies do not if your baby doesn't take cold bottles and you have to go to the extra step of heating it up as well and that's never fun when you have a screaming baby and you have to take like three minutes to heat it up so I just prefer to give them fresh because I pump every three hours so I always have fresh milk ready so you know I'm gonna continue pumping and I'll let you guys know what I get from this one this we got five and then two and a half so seven and a half total this is more of a normal um, pump. Normally I pump anywhere between like five and a half to like seven and a half ounces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in my app. I have the pump log app and it's super helpful. One, because it keeps track every day of how much you pump, when you pump, for how long you pump. So I can like go all the way back to when I first started pumping and kind of see how much I was pumping how many times how often all that stuff it's also super helpful because you can see a countdown based on how much you have frozen to when you can stop pumping so for me um, my first goal was to stop when I could feed him the first six months of his life with 
breast milk that goal if i was still if that was still my goal i would could stop pumping in nine days but now that i've made it pretty much that far i feel like i can do it longer um my mind might change when i go back to work but for right now my goal is to feed him for the first year so that would be november 1st is when i could stop that is my current goal it kind of reminds me that it's not going to go on forever <laughs> on those hard days um, but I really just like it because it keeps track of all your freezer stash, when you freeze it, how much was frozen, and it keeps track of how much you pump, when you pumped it, all that stuff. But that's what I use to, to keep track of everything. Some people keep it on pen and paper. I'm not that kind of person. I'm a technology person. I would like it to all be there. And that way I can keep track of how much is in my freezer stash and the app can do the math on when I can quit. Around November 1st-ish, as long as that's still the day because it changes, you know, if he starts to eat more, obviously that is going to change. My goal is to start like weaning, pumping after that, so I'll end up with a little more than a year's worth. But I'd rather stop when I know I have enough than to stop too early and not have enough. So once it hits that point, I want to start weaning. And my goal is that by... Thanksgiving I'm not pumping anymore it all just depends how everything goes but by December for sure I should be done pumping which will be super nice but I'm gonna put all that in the fridge I'm going to rinse these pump parts because I don't wash them with soap until the end of the day so since I use the, the fridge hack where I put them in the refrigerator I only have to wash them with soap at the end of the night or first thing in the morning so I'm gonna rinse them and let them it and then at the end of the night I'll clean all that that's when I clean all of my pumps I'm not gonna show you that because it's pretty boring but just know I only really wash them once a day because I don't need to wash them more than that because I use the fridge check pump number three done that means we're halfway done for the day only three more pumps to go I'm in the kitchen I'm having to talk a little low because Cole's asleep like right there over there in the living room but my pummy schedule is changing just a little bit. I didn't even think about today's a Tuesday. And so we're going to music bingo. So I'm going to bump up my pumping schedule a little bit so that I don't have to worry about having to pump while we're at bingo and still get the same amount of pumps. So when I have to change my schedule, I usually follow two rules. One, I always try to still pump six times a day or whatever amount of pumps I am at a day. Two, I try not to pump less than two hours apart. What I'm going to do is I normally pump, you saw me pump at 1.30. I normally pump at 4.30, then at 7.30, and then at 9.30. But we have bingo at 7, and I can't pump at 4.30 I have to, need to leave here about 6.30, so I can't pump at 4.30 and then pump at 6.30 again because that's when I'll be leaving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump now, which is 3.30, and then I'm going to pump again at like 6 o'clock. That way, right when I get done pumping, I'll have coal ready to go. I can just make his bottle real quick for um, 7 o'clock, and then we can get on the road. So I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to pump now and I'll make his bottle for seven o'clock with this pump but I'm going to pump now make his bottle for seven and I'll pump again at 6 30 and whatever I pump at 6 30 since I won't need any more bottles I'll probably honestly just in case when I pump at 6 30 I'm gonna bring like an extra ounce or two just in case he acts like he's still hungry after we eat I never like to be stranded without extra milk plus if I pump it well no I mean I pump at 6 so if I pump at 6 it'll be good till 10 and normally we're home by 10 if not it's only an ounce I've lost so it's really not that big of a deal to me since I produce so much I'm gonna pump now and then I'll show you what I got really quickly once I pump then I'll pump at 6 See you then. All right, about 6.25 for that pump. Sorry if you can hear Encanto in the back, but um, Cole's being just a little needy, so I had to put that on on full blast with the music, starting with the music scene. He doesn't care anything about the first scene. He just wants to see it straight to the music, and then he's into it. So sorry if you hear that. But before 
I did my pump and I decided I'm gonna do 545 that way I have plenty of leeway that way I can take Dolly out before we have to leave and just extra space just in case anything goes crazy because I really do need to leave it like a little after 630 <laughs> I wanted to tell you about the two kinds of pumps I do have that I use a lot I have three pumps I'll talk about the last one even though I don't use it that much the first one is my main pump and that's the Amita Maya I think I'm saying that right I don't know if it's Amita or Amita I don't know but this is what it looks like I'll link all the pumps I talk about in the description I really like this one I got this one through my insurance for those of you who don't know you can get a free pump with from your insurance and you can choose if I went back in time, I probably would have chose something a little different. The Spectra, a lot of people rave about in the Facebook groups I in, I'm in. Um, so if I could go back in time, I probably would have gotten that one. But this one does perfectly fine. It works super well. Really like this one. It is rechargeable, so you don't have to always be plugged into the wall. So it was really nice to have at the beginning. So like if I was sitting somewhere and Cole woke up, I could easily get up and help him without having to take my pump stuff off so I really like that one that one's the main one I use the second pump that I have is the mom cozy and that's a wearable one so like it just sticks in your bra and you can like cover up and like walk around the house there's no tubes or anything like that so I really like that I can't remember exactly when I got it I think I got it around like nine weeks postpartum so I didn't have it the whole time but I mainly got it because when I go home to visit family and when I go on like vacation, I want to be able to pump and be comfortable around people and covered up and not feel so awkward. So those help me when I'm around people to not feel like I have to necessarily leave the room every time. They also are really helpful if I have to pump while I'm driving. So like if I'm going somewhere and I need to pump before, they're super easy because there's no like cords in the way of your, when you're driving or anything like that. I have two of them. I use them a lot when I'm on vacation and I use them a lot if I need to be doing stuff around the house here and not be like have the tubes hanging out everywhere. The third pump, I'm still working on using it. I just don't think I'm using it the best. I have the Medela manual pump. I've tried it a few times. It works really good, but I just can't get the same amount as I would get with my other two pumps. I'm still working on that one. I'm not like disappointed because I definitely needed one just in case like I was ever anywhere and my pumps died and I didn't have a charger or something. So I always bring that with me just in case, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Some people rave about manual pumps, but for me, it's just not the best for me, but I'm glad I have it in case of emergencies. Those are the three main ones I have. All I've been using today is my Amita Maya. I'll probably continue to use that one today because I just don't have anything I necessarily need to be up and doing. He should be content when I pump at 545, so I think it's gonna be fine. It is 525 now, so I have about 20 more minutes before I have to pump. So I'm gonna make sure he's good to go. He might honestly fall asleep and take a little cat nap, but I'm gonna leave him on. As long as he's happy, he can chill right there. He seems pretty, as soon as I said that, he starts like crying, talking. I don't know which one it is, but he's content. So, well, he's not anymore, but I'm gonna go get him settled now. Six ounces. Good morning, last check-in. So just had my last pump for, well, for the 24 hours. I just had my first pump of the day. So not pictured is the six ounce bottle that Cole already ate. Normally he only eats five ounces, but this morning he was like screaming hungry after five ounces, so we gave him another one, another ounce and he was fine. So that six ounces from the pump is gone. This is five ounces for his 10 o'clock bottle. And then this is eight and a half ounces that I have extra from this morning. So in total, I have about 19. Is that right? Hold on, let me do the math. Yeah, 19 and a half, 19 and a half ounces. That is what we've got. So in total yesterday, I got 54 ounces, which is one of the biggest amounts i've had i think the most i've ever had is 55 so 54 is a little bit on the higher end normally i have around 50 51 most of the time some days they'll be a little lower like 48 if i don't like eat 
a lot or if I don't drink enough water. But most of the time I have around that 50-51. Last night I didn't freeze any milk obviously because I wasn't here. So I'm just going to wait and do that tonight. I will show you what I have extra though. So this is my extra for uh, a little over a day. So I froze milk. Let's see, today is a Wednesday morning. I think I froze milk Monday night sometime. So that's all extra that will get frozen sometime today, probably tonight or whenever I get a chance today. That is it. Let me know any questions you guys have that I may not have answered in this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of my schedule, how much I'm making, all that stuff, because that stuff I was curious about when I first started was like, how much are people getting per pump? When are they pumping? How are they juggling pumping with the baby? All that stuff. I could do plenty of videos on this, so just let me know if you'd like to know more about exclusively pumping. But I am going to let you guys go, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!